Good afternoon, everybody. Jay Douglas back with you. It's time to predict college football bowl games. As you can see, we have the entire bowl slate predicted here. Now, something that's not included in this is the Celebration Bowl, which I think Florida A&M is playing Howard in. If you listen to our recap podcast, we did end up predicting the FCS semifinals, the D2 championship, and the D3 championship. If I had to pick between those two teams, I would say that Florida A&M ends up winning that game. We have the Myrtle Beach Bowl, and there are six bowl games on Saturday, seven if you include the Celebration Bowl. So there are 10 games between college football and the NFL coming up on Saturday. Ohio will beat Georgia Southern, in my opinion. And the only real upset I have in this first window is App State over Miami. I know App State lost the Sun Belt title game to Troy, but it's just something about App State, and I think they'll beat Miami of Ohio. Jack State, I think, does beat Louisiana. I think New Mexico State beats Florida State. Now, these two games might be upsets. I'm not entirely sure. I did want to, part of me did want to take Boise, but I was thinking UCLA, they've played a lot better down the stretch, and they're kind of hot right now, so I'll take them. And then Cal, I think, won their last three games to get bowl eligible, so they're on a win streak, and I'll take them to win. On December 18th, you have the famous Toastery Bowl. I've never heard of that one. But I'll take Old Dominion, the Monarchs, to beat Western Kentucky. On December 19th, you have the Scooters Coffee Frisco Bowl. I have heard of the Frisco Bowl. It must just have a new sponsor. And I think Texas Antonio does win that game. Then you have, on Thursday, the Boca Raton Bowl, Syracuse against Florida. Now, this is probably a glorified home game for South Florida. I mean, I know it's against, I know it's at Florida A&M, but that's a home game for them. But I think Syracuse is good enough to win in the Gasparilla Bowl. Wow, the bowl committee really messed up. They could have put South Florida in the Gasparilla Bowl at their home stadium. They could have so done that, but they didn't. So that's a glorified home game for Central Florida, but... I think Georgia Tech will get the job done. I think it's primarily talent-wise here. The talent of Syracuse being a Power 5 and the talent of Georgia Tech being a Power 5. Now, not to say that these two teams can't win, but I just think that that's what that'll do. Games on the 23rd. I think this was a Saturday. Seven games on the docket at the Birmingham Bowl. I think Troy does beat Duke, so that that's an upset Power 5-wise, not record-wise. Duke also just lost their head coach, so that's why I'll take them I think Northern Illinois does beat Arkansas State, and I don't think Air Force will right the ship against James Madison. James Madison got the bowl game they wanted. I think they'll play very motivated, and they'll beat the Falcons. Utah State over Georgia State, South Alabama over Eastern Michigan, Northwestern over Utah, and Coastal Carolina over San Jose State. Now, this might be an upset record-wise, but something about Northwestern, how they're playing down the stretch, has me on that train. The day after Christmas, so there are no bowl games on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. So the next bowl games are on the 26th. Minnesota against Bowling Green. Rice against Texas State. Kansas at UNLV. I think Minnesota does beat Bowling Green. Texas State can very much win this game, but I think Rice will get it done. And then Kansas, I think, does beat UNLV. Then there are four games on the 27th. I think Tulane does beat Virginia Tech. I know Tulane lost... The American Conference title, but I think they are better, and I think they'll win. North Carolina, I think, beats West Virginia. I have Louisville over USC. And actually, here's an upset. A&M over Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State did not play well against Texas, and I think A&M is sneaky good. I think they're a lot better than maybe their record says, so I'll take them there. Then we have four games on the 28th. SMU against Boston College. Rutgers against Miami. NC State against K-State, and then Arizona against Oklahoma. So SMU off the AAC title game. I think they'll beat BC. I think Miami has enough to beat Rutgers. Rutgers has been sliding a little bit. Now Miami has too, but I think Miami will win that game. I think NC State is good enough to beat K-State, and I think Oklahoma does beat Arizona. Wouldn't be surprised if Arizona does win this game, but I think the Sooners will take it. December 29th. You have Clemson against Kentucky, Oregon State against Notre Dame, and Memphis against Iowa State. Memphis actually has a home game. This is at their home stadium, so that's why I'm taking them. It's a glorified home game there. I think Notre Dame does beat Oregon State, and I'll take Clemson over Kentucky. Would not be surprised if Kentucky or Oregon State ended up winning, but I'll take the teams in that one. Well, actually, one final game on the 29th. I missed this one. Ohio State, I think, does beat Missouri. And I wouldn't be surprised if Missouri does end up winning, but I think Ohio State will be motivated after that loss. Then you have three games on December 30th. Well, four games, actually, a bigger part, and I missed this one. Wyoming, I think, does upset Toledo. I think Toledo will be reeling a little bit. 
I wouldn't be surprised if Florida State wins this game, but with a backup quarterback against that Georgia defense. Now, neither one of these teams I think will play well just because they're so mad about the CFP, but I think Georgia does win. I think Auburn's good enough to beat Maryland. Auburn has had time, hopefully, to recover from that heartbreaking loss of the Iron Bowl. I think they'll come out. They've done a lot of good stuff in recruiting. I think they'll come out and play well against Maryland. Hopefully, the team is ready to play. Hopefully, Hugh Freeze and company are ready. And I think Ole Miss does beat Penn State. And the final games are on January 1st before the playoff national championship a week later. Wisconsin against LSU, Liberty against Oregon, Iowa against Tennessee, Alabama against Michigan, and Texas against Washington. So I think LSU does beat Wisconsin, and I think Oregon does embarrass Liberty. Now, I wouldn't be surprised maybe if Liberty does keep it close, but I think Oregon will win. And Iowa, they, they don't have a good offense. Their defense is pretty good, but their offense isn't. That's why I'll take Tennessee. And then for the playoff, I'm confident in taking Alabama. I wouldn't be surprised if Washington does win, but I just think Texas has gotten better each game. Now, this is probably me discrediting Washington a little bit. I think there's just something that says, hey, take Texas. But I wouldn't be surprised if Washington does end up winning. I don't think Michigan wins. I really don't think Michigan has a chance. And maybe a lot of people are doubting them, and maybe that'll make them play better and play well. So we'll see. So my college football playoff national championship right now will be a rematch against Alabama and Texas, and Alabama would win that game, I think. You put Nick Saban in a rematch situation, he's going to win. If it's Alabama against Washington, I have more faith in Washington, but Alabama's probably my team to win the whole thing. But I have greater confidence that Washington would beat Alabama. If it's Michigan against Texas, I think Texas wins. And if it's Michigan against Washington, I probably think Michigan. That's what I think. And be sure to let your opinion known. We want your opinion to be known. So let me know what you think is going to happen in all the bowl games, not just the CFP. Let me know what you're looking forward to the most at bowl games. I'm looking forward to the group of five actually playing the Power Five. Maybe... After bowl season, we'll go back and find out what group of five teams beat the Power Five, and maybe that'll give a stronger case that, hey, include us in the playoff next year when it expands to 12 teams. Go back and listen to our previous podcast, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe those previous videos. Like and comment on this video, and again, if you have not subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that. We want to grow the channel. We want to continue to serve you guys. We want to continue to bring you guys enjoyable content and engaging content. So help us to do that. We appreciate it so much. Two weeks is what we'll give it. So we'll update this after the games on December 23rd. So after the bowl games leading up to December 26th. Those will be, that'll be the next time that we update our record. As you can see, pretty good record of 392 and 155. Now I hope that these toss-up games, a lot of them are toss-ups. Hopefully, they go in my favor. We're not going to do a D2 and D3 recap this week. We'll do it after the national title games this weekend. So, next week, we'll have D2 and D3 recap. We'll have high school football recap and NFL recap and predictions. And again, this next recap will be on December 26th. So, don't go anywhere, folks. Plenty more football content to come your way. And once football season does end, probably... In the next couple weeks or so, we will start talking about college basketball. We'll start talking about hockey and the NBA, so you don't want to miss that. Stay tuned for more, folks. We'll talk to you again soon.